Stay tuned after the lesson for the instructor's comments. I'm gonna make another little video of common mistakes here. We got a sport bike here, this is an R1, getting ready to throw some carbs on it. And a lot of people will go ahead and put the manifolds on first when in fact the service manual will actually tell you to go ahead and mount the manifold on the carburetor first. So what we have here is we've got two hose clamps here. Another little clue we have, we have an L for left, the other one's uh, got an R for right. But here's where people kind of mess up on this is that, go ahead and hold the clamp for me again. You can see right here, there's a locator for the hose clamp. See what I'm saying? So that you don't have to guess where this is gonna be located. When we took this bike apart, this clamp was way off in the wrong position. You can see here, as we tighten that clamp up, we would actually take a round hole then, and it has to push that nub in and now we aren't gonna have a good seal. So the whole thing's just gonna have bad written all over it. Does that make sense? So a little quick summary here. Make sure and know your clamps, know what you got going on, know whether it's a left or right, and you also need to get that service manual out and know whether you should be putting it on the carburetor or on the engine first. Lots of different ways of doing it out there. Ask yourself this, how important is the sealing of that intake manifold? If that manifold leaks, we got air leaking in, we have a problem. You can't take a round hole, distort it, have it, you know, oblonged now or oval, if you will, and, and think for a second that you're going to get a good seal. Isn't it pretty amazing that this just small little detail, the, how that clamp is supposed to be positioned, can take a perfect carb job and just make it a failure. The, the other thing I wanted to point out that I didn't do in the video is that sometimes the reason they also put those in there really to benefit us so that our tool can reach underneath at a good angle to actually remove them nice and easy. I don't know how many times I've seen where mechanics or technicians just take the carburetors and just rip them off, uh, tearing the manifold or hurting them because they, they well, I can't get my tool in there, so I'm just going to rip them off and, and uh, do aggressive mechanics. So there's a better way. Use the service manual. It's, it's going to be really clear to tell you uh, orientation, um, how to actually get them off. Sometimes we even uh, have plugs on the frame that we can remove to get a long screwdriver Allen wrench in there. And uh, it's, it's really not as impossible as sometimes it seems uh, when you look at how the factory intended us uh, to take them off. I'm not going to argue that they could have made it a little bit easier, but uh, fitting them in a tight package like that, sometimes we're limited to uh, um, be resourceful and use what we have. Make it great and keep wrenching.